some of the most common questions I get asked by uh, my inspection customers and I see on the internet is, what should I do about Wi-Fi when I'm traveling? Your cell provider, whoever it is, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, can provide you with a what's called a Wi-Fi hotspot. This particular one uh, uh, I have from my cell phone provider. It's called a Moxie hotspot, uh, and it plugs into the 12-volt USB accessory here, and I have it stuck down with tape, double-stick Velcro tape, and it stays put during travel. Another question commonly asked is, how can I monitor my RV for uh, air conditioning during the summertime? I've got pets and I don't want them to uh, have to suffer the heat in the middle of a power failure or an air conditioning failure. I use a product called TempStick. Uh, there's no subscription, you buy it one time and it hooks up to your RV Wi-Fi and there's an app you put on your phone, either Android or iPhone, and you can set the parameters and I have mine set for if it gets over 80 degrees, it sends me a text and an email and tells me there's a problem and I know to drop what I'm doing, go back to my RV and see what's up. Uh, there's no monthly service charge, it's battery operated, it ties to your uh, Wi-Fi and it just sets there and protects them. Some folks that have older RVs have got TVs in them that are not Wi-Fi ready, they're not smart TVs. One solution for that is a box called Apple TV. It'll take any TV and convert it to a smart TV. That is, you can stream off the internet and you can use it on your uh, RV Wi-Fi. Everything that you see here is Velcro down. Uh, this guy here, this is the temp stick, he goes in here with the RV remotes. This is double stick Velcro. The Apple TV is double stick Velcro and this is double stick Velcro and they stay put when you're traveling. A lot of things that, a lot of things that I see, start again, and you can get back 